So he tries to be as close to the original recipe uh, as possible. There's no tau pork or cockles or, or anything like that. He did add cockles for a brief period, but he decided to get to it because it's a high problem. Savory, coconutty. It's a bit of a tangy taste to it throughout it, which. I haven't realized the uh, Amatu Mekau actually. The so chili paste I'm going to try it as well. Now the chili paste itself is actually a very gritty paste which is actually very very flat. It's very flat in the sense that there's absolutely no uh, additional taste in it. So it is just pure chili paste. The spice, there's the flavor of the dry chili and that's it. So, it's actually good in the sense because it doesn't actually interfere with the overall taste of the laksa. So the, the resulting gravy is not like the normal laksa you normally get. It is a very light, delicate broth. And the flavor of coconut milk actually dominates the whole taste. The fact that it is freshly squeezed makes the gravy uh, lighter, also um, smooth and creamy at the same time. And then it's got that distinct flavour of the Dao Kusong, which is basically the laksa. It has a very delicate flavour, which uh, people who are used to the normal uh, normal laksas out there, right? They may not be used to it because that has got a very strong dry shrimp flavour. This doesn't have that strong a dry shrimp flavour. It's light, but it's actually quite flavorful. It says that it's quite a uh, powerfully savoury, but not it's not a dry shrimp um, savouriness. The other thing about the coconut milk. Yeah, because it's freshly squeezed, right? You don't get that overly heavy, uh, rich flavor, you know, that's like so gelat, so rich on the but you have the inside. A certain lightness, a freshness to it. It's just um, so that it's creamy, but you just keep on eating it, eating it, and eating it. 
That's the difference when you actually add fresh coconut milk. You're just bonding together. It doesn't feel heavy. The only break from tradition is that they've been using uh, less coconut milk over the years because, uh, because of rising health concerns. They've also cut back on the number of crops uh, in each bowl uh, due to rising costs. Uh, it's not overcooked, you know, it's springy. Let's try the prawn. They give you half a prawn. Well, um, you spoil. Um, I'm actually, I'm actually a bit uh, not as impressed with the prawn as I could be. Um, to actually save time, right? They actually pour um, the whole batch of prawn. Put inside. So it's, it's not going to have that a freshly blanched taste. Um, which is it's fine. I mean, you know, you get this sort of case in, in a lot of clubs up. Uh, fish cake, normal fish cake. I don't know. Ah. Everything at once. Oh. Let's try the water. No, it's probably um, probably factory made. Very good. Power pack, flavorful. Um, it's a great single flavor running for it. It's a bit of spice. Very nice. Even though it's factory made, right? We've actually done it very well. You can taste the like no fish bits inside. Twelve seconds later. I actually appreciate Slaps are way more than the others now because you don't get the heavy feeling. Look at this. Where's the whole bowl? Normally I leave the grain because it's so heavy. I'm scooping it up. Hello, are you Uncle Mike? Hi, hi. Yeah, Uncle Mike. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, how are you? Yeah. How are you doing? How are you? You told me that, that you, you will be able to show me around, right? Yes, yes. Okay, come come to Okay, uh, so this just where go I here. cook my thing. This one is made every day, right? Yes, definitely. Uh, Close coconut. Yeah, I see. Fresh coconut. Fresh coconut. Uh. This is the chili oil. Oh, no, now oh, people scan oil. What? So That's I create yeah. this way. You want oil, I top up. You don't want oil, you tell me I don't put. Oh, I see, see. But, but, uh, That's uh, why you the, see, it's uh, also oily. Uh, so automatically you will, you add a bit, lah. Uh, uh, after no, the no. Move. Unless they request it. Oh, is that really? Yeah, I don't add. Oh, it's so, so you, you can actually request? Ah? Yeah, la, you want oil, then I add more oil. La. Oh, okay. Because not people can sue. Oh, not okay. conscious. <laughs> okay. Is this still made out of sea prawns? Ah, uh, yeah. Is that right? You're right. Fresh you, prawns. You get every day or? Yeah, every day. Every day? Ah? Yes. Okay, on nothing, the market. Nothing you boil first? Ah? Yeah, for like today we boil. We cook everything for tomorrow. Mm. So it's the uh, next day. La. Mm. Because you can't do it today and serve it. We need, we need enough time, insufficient. You you uh you get it from the Jurong? No no no, for my dealer French market. They oh, will get market. from Jurong for me. Oh, Jurong for you. Last time I do it, ah. but cannot. No okay. lie, two o'clock I must be there in the morning. Oh, okay. You <laughs> for it. Ah, yeah, it's yeah. cheap, cheap, but ah. I can't do it now. Because, because, because the tax consumption, other... yes, cannot. Oh, okay. And then, and then, and then you fish cake, just an ordinary one, right? Yeah, yeah. Ordinary fish cake? Uh, not quite. I can you can I you can say it's ordinary. It's a special one. Uh, what call it? More on a high end one. Oh, okay. Well, there's uh, a lot of quick fish cake outside. Outside, right? Yeah. Okay, then this one is this the is uh, Ota, Ota. normal normal factory one. You pay, right? No, no, no. This one is a special request made one. Oh, is it from where? Yeah. Okay, what? You can see it's different. Yeah. yeah. What's so different, huh? Okay, you have a taste, but the cost is slightly higher lah. Mm -hmm. Because they are using, you see, not fresh fish. Mm. Uh, you the oh, okay. You look at it. It's more intense, there's a fresh fish inside also. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mackerel lah? Yeah, mackerel. Local, local, local distributor? Uh, local distributor, yes. Okay, okay. And then your chili? Chili. 
I make it myself. You make it yourself, right? Yeah. Fresh so chili. you don't put any seasoning, right? No, no, no seasoning. Yeah. So it's really just fresh chili. Oh, fresh chili. Yeah. Okay. And then you, your the daun kosong. Daun kosong, you 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 make it dry, does it? No. Yeah? We grind it now. Grind it now, is that yeah. right? Oh, you grind it down, I see. Okay, uh, uh, do, you, do you want to show me how you make a bowl? How I do it? Then I'll come over to cook. So you let it heat up until... Yeah, you need to let it heat up a while because it rests too long. Really. Oh, rest too long. Okay. Unless it's continuously, uh, uh, the wok is there, then uh, yes, so yeah. cool. Uh, so yeah. Otherwise, I've got to wait. You've got to wait now. Yeah. But, uh, but, but you never let it boil, right? No, no, no. It because because otherwise, you, you can't control, let right? it boil because once you let it boil, uh, they, they, will, they won't look so nice now. Yeah, yeah. Because they will break up. Oh, so, so you do let it boil a bit, lah. Yes. Low heat, is it? Low heat. Low heat or boil, lah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm. I'm going to do the cooking now. So you actually cook the the chow bee hoon in, inside the gravy, ah? Yes. Okay. Then you blend with it, lah. Uh. Okay. Mm. If you request for oil, I will do it. If not, mm. you see, it will be plain. Or oh, plain, I see. Yeah. Yeah. What's not health conscious? Oh. I like the oil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. Then we will come over here to put the ingredients. Chili? And the down goso is a must. Okay, that's it. That's it. Uh. Original. Made in Singapore. Roxy Laksa. Anything else you can show us? The rest of the thing I can't show you because it's quite sensitive. Okay. <laughs> okay, alright. Thanks yeah. very much, okay, Mike. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, uh, let's finish with Roxy. What Uncle Mike actually told me was that there are actually, um, he doesn't get a very big queue here because it's basically 70% foreigners here. Whereas, um, so he's only appealing only to the local crowd, which is like 30%, you know. So there are like a lot of Angmos, a lot of Caucasians, a lot of uh, China workers, Indian workers, and they don't know, they just think that it's just a normal laksa store, which is crazy because his laksa is truly uh, in a different level. I guess there needs to be some form of education. So anyway, thanks for watching this video. Um, if you liked it, give a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.